गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू सेशन फोर ऑफ यूनिट टू इन लर्निंग द कोर्स कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड आर्किटेक्चर इन अवर प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द माइक्रो ऑपरेशन सच एस अर्धमेटिक माइक्रो ऑपरेशन लॉजिक माइक्रो ऑपरेशन एंड शिफ्ट माइक्रो ऑपरेशन नॉट ओनली द माइक्रो ऑपरेशन वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द सर्क्यूट्स which are used to perform arithmetic micro operations logic micro operations and shift micro operations in this session we are going to discuss about arithmetic logic shift unit arithmetic logic shift unit the main objectives of this session are to learn designing the arithmetic logic shift unit the main outcomes of this session are by following this session the student will be able to understand the arithmetic logic shift unit in digital computer and able to design the arithmetic logic shift unit and this diagram indicates the arithmetic logic shift unit so we seen in our previous sessions we seen arithmetic circuit we seen logic circuit we seen shift circuit what is the need of arithmetic logic shift unit why we have to discuss about this one so if you are providing different circuits for different operations so we cannot it becomes expensive in manufacturing of a digital computer so for arithmetic operations one circuit for logic operations one circuit for shift operations one circuit for branch operations another circuit like that if you are maintaining different different circuits for each type of operations for each category of operations the circuit becomes complexity and it a complexity and it becomes expensive to maintain all those things so that's why we have a single circuit that can perform all these categories of operations so that's why we are representing a single circuit that is nothing but arithmetic logic shift unit which performs all arithmetic operations logic operations as well as shift operations now let us see the circuit uh, uh, first i am going to explain how it is connected later we will discuss about the functionality of this circuit first let us see this rectangular box which indicates the arithmetic circuit this rectangular box indicates arithmetic circuit what we discussed earlier we we discussed about arithmetic circuit earlier while we are discussing about arithmetic micro operations now this circuit this rectangular box which indicates logic circuit so what we discussed while we are discussing about logic micro operations we seen already logic circuit now this uh, uh, indicates the output of arithmetic logic shift unit it is a multiplexer 4 by 1 multiplexer it is having four uh, inputs 0 1 2 3 and also it is having two selection inputs and it is having one output that output is nothing but fi that fi uh, gives the output of arithmetic logic shift unit and here uh, for doing either arithmetic operations or logic operations and shift operations uh, uh, maximum we need two operands those two operands are represented with a and b those two operands are represented with a and b and here i connected a i and b i both to logic circuit as well as arithmetic circuit so a i and b i which are connected to both logic circuit as well as arithmetic circuit and arithmetic since arithmetic circuit can generate uh, the carries so while we are doing uh, the addition or something uh, we may get some carries the input carry is represented with ci and output carry is represented with ci plus 1 so arithmetic circuit is having those two carries now let us see here we are taking four selection inputs s0 s1 s2 s3 now let us see s0 s1 which are connected to both logic circuit and arithmetic circuit these two are connected to both arithmetic circuit as well as logic circuit and s2 s3 these two selection inputs are connected to multiplexer output multiplexer and let us see here a i minus 1 a i plus 1 which are used for the representation of left shift and right shift for shift operations we need only one operator the operate operand a i am using one operand is necessary for those is sufficient for those so i am using only the operand a a i minus 1 which is connected to two input of uh, multiplexer and a i plus 1 which is connected to three input of multiplexer 
and the output of arithmetic circuit is connected to 0 the output of logic circuit is connected to 1 that is if selection inputs s3 selection input s3 s2 s3 if selection inputs s2 s3 these two are 0 0 what the circuit works arithmetic circuit works if these two are 0 1 since one is active one is connected to logic circuit the logic circuit works 1 0 or 1 1 so shift circuit works so i hope that you all understood from these representations since the 4 by 1 multiplexer is having four inputs 0 1 2 3 the zero input is connected to output of arithmetic circuit one input is connected to output of logic circuit 2 input is connected to a i minus 1, 3 input is connected to a i plus 1. What the input is active? That becomes the output of the multiplexer. Now, uh, uh, which input is active? Uh, how we are going to know that one? Based on the selection inputs. The two selection inputs that are connected are S2, S3. Now, based on these values, which circuit works that we can decide? Which operation that we can perform that, uh, that will be decided? Now, if these two are 0, 0, S2, S3 selection inputs are 0, 0 means the 0, the, this 0 input becomes active. So, since it is connected to arithmetic circuit, this represents the output of an arithmetic operation. Now, if it is 0, 1, 0, 1 means 1, 1 is active, 1 is active means this 1 is connected to logic circuit. So, we can see, we can say that the output represents, the output of multiplexer represents the output of a logic operation and if it is 1, 1 or 1, 0, it indicates 1, 0 means 2, 1, 1 means 3, these two are connected to a i minus 1, a i plus 1, these two indicates the shift operations. So, we can say that the output of uh, arithmetic logic shift unit becomes a shift operation okay now we, we want to know detailedly what arithmetic operations that we are going to perform what logic operations that we are going to perform what shift operations that we are going to perform by using this arithmetic logic shift unit so that is clearly given here let us see this now here s3 s2 if both are 0 0 we can say that arithmetic operations can be performed so, in all these cases, so totally 8 cases are there. In all these cases, we can say that arithmetic operations can be performed by using that arithmetic logic shift unit. Let us see how, which operations are going to be performed. So, if S3, S2 are 0, 0, S1, S0 are also 0, 0 and C input is 0, A is passed to the arithmetic circuit the value a, the upper end a is passed to the arithmetic circuit. What the value is passed to that value, c in is added, this, that becomes the output of the multiplexer. So, that is, now, since c in is 0, a is passed to arithmetic circuit, a plus 0 means a itself. So, just we are doing transfer of a that becomes the first op first arithmetic operation. Now, second one, if these two are 0, 0 and 1, C in is 1. So, 0, 0 means A is passed and for passed value, C in is added that is A plus 1. Incrementation of A that is the second arithmetic operation. Now, if it is 0, 1, both A and B will be passed. So, here if it is S1, S0, both are 0, 0, only A is passed. If both are 0, 1, A, B, both will be passed. If both are 1, 0, A, B bar will be passed. If both are 1, 1, in that case, only uh, what will be passed, we will discuss that. Next, uh, if it is 0, 0, A is passed, since C in is 0, only uh, output becomes A, that is transfer of A. If it is 0, 0, A is passed and C in is 1, for that A, C in will be added, which becomes incrementation of A. If it is 0, 1, both A and B will be passed, for that A and B, C in will be added, A plus B plus 0, which becomes A plus B, so addition operation will take place. If it is 0, 1, A and B both will be passed and C in is added, that is A plus B plus 1, which is nothing but add with carry. Next, if it is 1, 0, 
a and b bar are passed for that a and b bar 0 will be added that is a plus b bar plus 0 which is nothing but a plus b bar which is to be called as subtract with borrow next if it is 1 0 a and b r are passed and c input is 1 that is a plus b bar plus 1 which is nothing but subtraction which is also to be called as a minus b and if it is 1 1 if it is 1 1 a is passed a is passed and C in is 0. So, what happens in case of this one? A minus 1 will be happened and decrementation, decrementation operation will take place. So, that is what is happening there. In case of C, if C in is 0, in that case, if it is 1, 1, so uh, what is happening means all the values that the circuit is getting 1, 1, 1, 1. So, that is for A, uh, let us see, suppose for example, uh, 1 means 0, 0, 0, 1. If you are taking 1's complement of 1, then what it becomes 1, 1, 1, 0. If you are taking 2's complement of 1, what it becomes 1, 1, 1, 1. So, if I am adding this 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, A, what becomes A plus 1 bar plus 1. So, here this is 1 bar, this is 1 bar plus 1, if I am adding 1, 1, 1, 1 to A means A plus 1 bar plus 1, which is nothing but A minus 1. So, the same operation is happened here in this case. If it is 1, 1 means all 1s are passed to the arithmetic circuit and also A is passed. A is passed as well as all, all B inputs are having 1, 1, 1. That is A passed means a0, A1, A2, A3 are passed and as the B input, A1, all 1s are passed. If I am adding all 1s means 1 bar plus 1 is added to A. A plus 1 bar plus 1 means it is nothing but A minus 1. So, that is why we are having decrement operation. Now, if it is 1, 1 and if it is 1. So, if it is 1, 1 what I am saying A minus 1 is happened and if it is C in is 1. So, if I am adding 1 means 1 and 1 will get cancelled what we have only A we have. That is nothing but transfer of A. So, okay, all these indicates the arithmetic operations. And if the S3, S2 inputs are 0, 1, S3, S2 inputs are 0, 1, in that case, logic operations will be happened. Let us see if S1, S0 is 0, 0, AND operation 0, 1, R operation 1, 0, exclusive R operation 1, 1, complement of A operation will be happened. Okay, right. Next, let us see if it is 1, 0, if it is 1, 0, whatever it may be the values of S1, S0, it not considers the selection inputs, right shift of A will be happened. If it is 1, 1, left shift of A will be happened. Now, I already said you that if S3, S2, both are 0, 0, arithmetic operations, 0, 1, logic operations, 1, 0, shift right, 1, 1, shift left. That is both are 1, 0 and 1, 1 indicates shift operations. So, this entirely gives the functional table of arithmetic logic shift unit. So, I hope that uh, you all understood what we discussed in this session. In this session, we discussed about what is the purpose of uh, designing arithmetic logic shift unit and also we discussed how the connections are made in designing that arithmetic logic shift unit. And also we discussed the functional table, what explains the functional functionality of arithmetic logic shift unit. Here to assess yourself, I give an equation, please answer that question. Design the digital circuit used to implement various micro operations. In preparing this presentation, I used the digital content from various public sources. It is used only for educational purpose and not for the commercial purposes. Thank you for listening the session.